Hello everybody, my friends. I'm Dr. Mauricio Soto, dentist for more than 20 years. And along this time, I do veneers, compulsive veneers, porcelain veneers, many, many veneers, all the kinds of veneers. And in this video today, I go to explain you everything about the veneers. How is the process, everything, everything, okay? Pay attention. Okay, the first question is, what is a dental veneer? It's simple. A dental veneer is a layer of composite or porcelain, okay? Today we have two materials for the veneers, for the dental veneers. Composite and porcelain, okay? And what we do with this? With the veneer, we change the size the color and a little the position of the teeth. And in this way, in conjunction, is we do veneer in all the teeth. We change the smile of the person, okay? Remember, the aim of the dental veneers is obtain a beautiful smile, okay? Change your smile, change the smile of the people and obtain a beautiful and nice smile. We do this with, with veneers, composite or porcelain, okay? A veneer is a layer of material, a layer of porcelain or composite, what we put over the teeth to shape, size, color, shape, to obtain, in conjunction, a beautiful smile, okay? Now I go to explain you the difference between porcelain a composite veneers, okay? I go to start with porcelain, okay? Porcelain is the material used for more time for the veneers, okay? A veneer, a porcelain veneer, is a veneer made outside the mold in a dental laboratory, made for a technical person or uh, with CAD CAM machines, okay? Are made outside the mold and we bond this over your teeth. It's different, the process, in comparison with the composite. The composite are made directly in your mouth over your teeth. This is the difference, okay? And what is the difference between, one difference between porcelain and composite? For do porcelain, the most of the time, we need to shave the teeth. Two, obtain an insertion path or for correct some malposition of your teeth. Okay? Today all the people talking about prevalence video. But it's more publicity, okay? In the most of the cases, if we do porcelain veneers without shaving, we obtain a fake smile, okay? The veneers look very bulky. For this reason, the truth, I want to tell you the truth. How work this? We need to shave a little the teeth, okay? For the most of the people, this is not a big issue because many people have composite over the teeth, have cavity, have different restoration, okay? They have previous, previous shaving of the teeth. In this situation, if you shave for half porcelain, it's not a big problem, okay? The problem is if you have good teeth, healthy teeth, a perfect enamel over your teeth, okay? You need to think in the future. For this reason, if you have good teeth, nice teeth, and you only want to change the color and a little more big teeth, my recommendation is to start with composite veneers, okay? If the situation is different, if you have bad teeth, okay? start with porcelain, okay? And another difference is the process of fabrication. As we do the composite veneer, I can do the composite veneer in one four-hour appointment, very fast. For porcelain is different. The process is more complex. I need to shake the teeth, take impression of the of your teeth to send to the lab. And the lab 
to the veneer. And this takes time, okay? You need, I need a second appointment for bond tubing. Many times, we need to correct a little the work of the lab. It's normal. And average, in average time, we take four days, three, four, five days for do porcelain veneers and just one day for do composite, just five or one four hours, okay? Now you know the difference between porcelain and composite veneers. Now, do, now I'm going to talk to you about the composite veneers, okay? Composite is the another material for do veneers. The composite is different. The composite, the dental resin, is similar to play dot and we use a lamp, a blue light, for harder the, the composite, okay? And we do the composite veneer directly over your teeth. And we, the most of the times, we don't shave nothing your teeth. Because with composite, we can work with very, very thin lines. And I can do your composite veneers without shaving the teeth. For this reason, if you have good teeth, beautiful teeth, and you only want to change the color and the size of it, my recommendation is to start with composite. Composite is a good material, but in comparison with the, the porcelain, have some little disadvantage, okay? Uh, the composite is less resistant to bite hard things. You need to take care of this. If you bite some very hard, for example, a piece of ice, a piece of crap, maybe have a fracture in your composite veneer, it's easy to fix, but you have this problem. Okay? But if you take care with the very hard thing, you don't have problems with this. Okay? With the porcelain is different. The porcelain is strong. Okay? You can't buy everything. And last more time, the, the porcelain, okay? With good care, your porcelain veneers can last 20 years. Composite veneers average last five years. But after five years, you can we can do a refresh on your veneers. We just shave it a little decomposite, and we put a new layer of composite, and you have composite veneers, but another five years, okay? The process of do composite veneer is more fast because I do everything in one appointment over your teeth and in four or five hours I do your top and bottom veneer. Okay? It's, it's a, the modern option, okay? Every day the people do more composite and less post. The main factor is the the conservativity, okay? Because and with composite veneer, we don't need to shake it. This is the great, great advantage of the composite veneers, okay? For new composite veneers, you only need to come here, one appointment, four or five hours, and you have new teeth. It's very fast. It's very fast. But you need to find a person with the expert for do composite. Do composite veneer or porcelain veneer is not easy. Okay? The most of the people that do don't have enough experience at, at the end you don't have very good veneers. Okay? You need to find a good professional, good reputation. Okay? Prefer people that you see the work of the professional in another person and you like them smile. Okay? Now I'm going to explain you the process for do porcelain veneers, for example, to my office, okay? The most of the people write me in WhatsApp, I want my veneers, I ask you for some pictures, the, the patient send me the picture, and I check the situation, and we accord a day for your trip here to your veneers. I'm going to explain you first for porcelain, okay? For, for porcelain, you need to do one week three here for your videos but you, you don't need to stay here at my office every day ok 
okay? Maybe you can hear three appointments, okay? And then another day you can turn around for the city, not the city, go to the shopping mall, go to the pool, do something, okay? And what I do in the first appointment, I shave your teeth a little. If you don't need add don't shave. And I take a scanner, a scanner a copy of your teeth. And I send this to the dental lab. Okay? And the dental lab work in your veneers and after two or three days you come here again and I burn the veneers over your teeth and you return to your country with a new wonderful smile, okay? Now, for composite is different. Your trip is more short. And the most of the people arrive for one day, I do the veneers the next day, and the next day return to your country, okay? With two days is enough for the composite veneer. I do all the process in four or five hours, okay? This is the difference between do, composite, and porcelain. Okay, we finished this explanation. I put videos all the time about veneers especially, because I do veneers for patients and classes for dentists that want to learn my technique for them. Porcelain or composite veneers, you can check my website at drveneers.com. I want that you subscribe to my channel and give me a like, okay? I'm Dr. Mauricio Soto and see you in my next video. Goodbye.